Sound travels far and wide here in Kentucky, where bluegrass, country, rock and roll, and even jazz fill our hearts with homegrown happiness and the rhythms of country life. I'm Arthur Hancock here today with J.D. Shelburne, gearing up for picking in the park tonight. J.D., thanks for being with us. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Honored to be a part of this. Tell us a little bit about your story. You're a Kentucky boy and you're living in Nashville now, but let's get back to the roots. I grew up in a place called Taylorsville, Kentucky, which is about 40 miles east of Louisville. It wasn't until uh, about uh, college is when music really came into my life. I grew up in a small town church and uh, I would sing in choir every now and then, but never really took it serious. Uh, my grandmother, who I was really close to uh, in 2002, my first year away from home, uh, passed away unexpectedly. Um, I was home for the summer um, and came across an acoustic guitar that she had kind of left behind and uh, tucked away in a closet. Ended up taking the guitar back to college with me in 2002 and a light bulb kind of went off. I would, in between classes, uh, I would, you know, teach myself to play chords. I started, um, you know, playing for friends in my living room. We lived actually on campus right across from the Kentucky's uh, football Commonwealth Stadium at the time. So anytime there'd be a football game, we were parking cars in our yard. We were doing front porch concerts, anything to, to, to pull people in. So where was your first gig? My first gig was uh, a little Irish pub down on campus called uh, Kitty O'Shea's. It was actually right beside the McDonald's. It's actually no longer there. It's a parking lot now. They tore it down. They tore it down. You knew where my first gig was. Kitty O'Shea. Kitty O'Shea. No way. Yeah, man. Are you serious? It wasn't actually a gig, but I stole a wow. guy's guitar one night. I hope it wasn't you. <laughs> Could have been. <laughs> Could have been. I was born to do this, born to play, born to pour You know, just to be a part of, of the state tr traditions here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still tell people, like, I love to sing my old Kentucky home at my shows. And it's amazing how many times I, I'll sing the song in states that aren't Kentucky, that people know the words. Well, Country music really wasn't that great of uh, a platform in Lexington. I couldn't really find any gigs. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a couple shows here and there. They had house bands that were playing every weekend. I never could get my foot in the door. And so um, I'm not one of those guys that sit around and wait. So I, I was just knocking on doors. I would drive to Louisville. Ended up playing, you know, shows. I was uh, festivals, fairs, clubs. I played every club in Louisville. I've literally played every single stage in Louisville but the Palace. When you start grassroots and you start from the bottom and you work your way up, like you're just grateful for anybody who comes to your shows. What's been really neat is I met my wife and you know, I bought a house, I bought a brand new car, all because of that guitar. It's been a long time coming for me. I mean, I've been burning these roads up. I put 35,000 miles in my truck alone last year, and uh, you know, to, to go from there, it's just a feeling I can't explain to you. We really appreciate you being on Sound Travels and, and look forward to your show tonight. Thanks so much, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. Honored to be a part of this, man. Thanks so much.